Hi Stampers, I'm Mary Nabe. Welcome to my Stamp and Peace studio in Columbus, Ohio. Today is number five in my six part video series featuring the Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper and easy one sheet wonders. In today's video, we'll be using this piece of designer series paper. And with it, we're going to make four slimline cards and two A2 size cards. So let's get started so I can show you how to cut this sheet of designer series paper and make six fabulous cards. These are the six cards we'll be making, four slimline cards and two A2 size cards. If you remember from yesterday's video or number four in this series, I asked you to save these eight pieces of designer series paper that measure half inch by three inches. So these were saved from video number four and we will be using them for the banners on this card today, along with our entire sheet of designer series paper, just like that. So with your paper trimmer, please turn your designer series paper so that the top blue is now on the left side of your trimmer. And we're going to cut off four inches from that. Hang on to this. We'll be using this to make our two A2 size cards. With this piece of designer series paper, we're going to cut at three inch intervals. And we will end up with four pieces of DSP each measuring three inches by eight inches. One, two, three, four. Now, in addition to that, I want to show you how to cut your cardstock for the slimline cards. I've cut three of the card bases already, but the fourth one I wanted to do with you to show you how I cut it. So with your eight and a half by 11 cardstock in the horizontal position, you would cut off four inches. Of course, you'll save that piece, a beautiful cardstock to use on a project later. Now you have a piece that measures seven inches by eight and a half. We're going to keep this in its vertical position and we're going to score in half at three and a half inches. So now our finished slimline card will measure three and a half by eight and a half inches when it's finished. So I'm going to take the other three card bases I previously cut and scored and burnish the score lines on those. Just want to use your bone folder to give those folds a nice 
or those card bases a nice crisp fold. I've also cut four pieces of Cajun Craze cardstock. These measure three and an eighth by eight and an eighth inches. And I've cut four pieces of basic white cardstock, also measuring three and eighth, three and an eighth by eight and an eighth inches. I'm going to start by putting these pieces of basic white cardstock on the inside of my card bases. Card bases are made from Azure Afternoon cardstock. Azure Afternoon is one of our newest Stampin' Up! colors in our core collection. Brand new to Stampin' Up! Now I'm going to layer my designer series paper rectangles on top of the Cajun Craze rectangles. And I'm going to tell you that on the back of this is copper clay. So really your layers could be Cajun Craze or copper clay cardstock. I chose the um, Cajun Craze because it just seemed a tiny bit brighter to go with the flowers but really either color is certainly acceptable. And the way these are cut, you're just going to have a very, very narrow border of the Cajun Craze color showing. Slimline cards can be a nice variation from our usual A2 size card. And now I'm going to take these layers and add them to each of the Azure Afternoon card fronts. Remember when you're adding layers, you can look at the top two corners and then the three sides around them. And if those three sides, the left, the top, and the right have even spacing, you can press down the rest of your piece and you'll have even spacing all the way around those layers. You can see these four slimline cards come together quite easily. They are very basic layouts that you can use over and over again. Now let's dress up the front of these. I've got four pieces of Cajun Craze cardstock. Each one measures one inch by three and a half inches. And I'm going to use my, whoops, my banners pick a punch to punch both ends of each strip. This 
This is probably my most used punch. I love it for sentiments. I love the two different ends it punches. But in this instance, we're going to use this banner piece as a layer behind our sentiment. So I'm going to add these, whoops, to my card front. And just like that, I am out of adhesive. Okay, sorry about that. Here's another one that's all full. I'm going to adhere these at an angle. Just to add a little more decoration, a little more decorative element to it by adding it at an angle. And I've pre-cut three stitch circles from the Stylish Shapes dies, and I'm going to stamp a sentiment on each of those with Cajun Craze ink. My sentiment is your friendship means everything. It's a great sentiment to let our friends know we love and appreciate them just because. No special occasion, just because. All right, let's flip those over. I'm going to add a couple of dimensionals to each and then adhere these to my card fronts. And then lastly, we're going to add a little bit of bling using the Adhesive Back Solid Gems. This is a brand new package, so I'm going to do this to it. I'm just going to snip off the plastic on the right side and create an opening there. I just find this easier to slide my embellishments in and out rather than dealing with the adhesive closure and sliding them in. For some reason, I think this is just a little bit easier and I was happy to learn this little hack from demonstrator Sharon Armstrong. Now there are lots of ways you can add the embellishments. I've decided to put one in the upper right and the lower left part of each banner. And certainly you can use any of the three sizes. And this boho blue color really is a nice shade of blue to go with the Azure Afternoon. That Azure Afternoon is bright and cheerful and the boho blue just adds a little softness here 
Okay, so there's our four slimline cards, but we're not finished yet. We need to use the remaining piece of our designer series paper. This is the four inches that we cut off the top. So this measures four inches by 12 inches. And we're actually going to be using the back side mostly for our next two cards. So I'm going to cut these at five and a quarter inches twice. So there's five and a quarter inches. And again, line up the left side with five and a quarter inches. And then you have this one piece that is one and a half inches. I'm going to flip it to the blue side and I'm going to cut it at half inch increments. So my next two cards both use a copper clay card base. My card bases are five and a half by eight and a half inches and I scored it four and a quarter inch on the long side. I've got a piece of basic white for the inside of each. The white pieces measure five and a quarter by four inches. And the next thing I'm going to do is take these three half inch pieces that I just cut and I'm going to adhere them to this piece of designer series paper. Just kind of like that. All right, with just a little space between them. And just to make it easier for me to adjust any spacing between them, if I need to. Oh, come on. I'm using multi-purpose glue. So the first one I'm putting approximately three quarters of an inch from the left side. Then I'll add my second one. Leaving just a small bit of the copper clay DSP showing through between them. And I'm going to repeat that same step using the third strip. Now I'm going to attach a couple of pieces of ribbon. These are going to cover up those copper clay spaces of DSP but this ribbon is so pretty, it adds some nice texture and even a fun sheen, a little bit of shine to it. And this is how I'm going to adhere that ribbon. I'm going to put some adhesive on the back side. I'm going to take the first piece of ribbon and lay it over the space between those first two strips, blue strips. Pull the other end and just adhere it to the back side. Just like that. And I'm going to repeat that with my second piece of copper clay ribbon. Oh, the texture of this ribbon is absolutely beautiful. And I love that little bit of shine to it. 
that sheen that is woven through. And I'd say that looks pretty darn good. So now I'm ready to add this piece to my copper clay card front. I'm gonna set this aside for now. The next thing I'm going to do is start my second card. So I'm going to add this copper clay side to the card front. So I'm using the copper clay side. That blue side is down. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is bring in these eight half inch strips that I had from yesterday's demonstration. And on the on one end of each of the strips, I'm going to do a banner cut on just one end. Now we're going to add these banner pieces to our card fronts. And we're just going to be clipping off the end of each one so that we have, um, so that our banners vary in length. So we might start like with this and add this. with some multi-purpose glue that I think both of these bottles are near the end. I'm gonna put one here. And I'm gonna start one on the other end too. You could also add all of your banners to the DSP before you mount that DSP onto your card front and then just kind of cut all the ends at once if you want with your I keep grabbing the wrong bottle of glue put it here if you're not sure what I meant when I just said that let me just pull this off and show you because this other way might be easier for many of you. Oops. So what I mean is, I'm just gonna put this mat underneath. So what I mean is, lay each of these banners down however you like let the ends extend off of the top of that DSP and again the multi-purpose glue is going to work best for this because it allows you to move the different pieces around if you need to alter the spacing between them Do this, I might pull this one a little higher. See what I mean about using that multi purpose glue to allow you to raise and lower the pieces or move them side to side if you need to. Okay. 
multi-purpose glue is nice in that way. It gives us some, truly gives us some wiggle room, so to speak. Just your strips as needed. Just moving mine around a little bit. Doesn't necessarily have to be even spacing, but if you like even spacing, you've got the time to move things around by using your multi-purpose glue. And I'm just trying to get mine straight. And I think that's pretty good. So here's what I mean about trimming off those edges in one swoop. You can either do it with your paper snips, like this, or you could even lay it in this piece in your paper trimmer and just slide that cutting blade down at once. But I'm going to do it like this because some of that glue is still a little wet and tacky, and I don't want to get that on my paper trimmer. Of course, I will want to remember to um, clean the blades of my paper snips afterwards. So now let's add this to our card front. So again, I kind of switched gears on you by showing you to add the banners first to the DSP and then the DSP to the card front. Next, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. It's the same sentiment I used on the first four slimline cards. However, I'm using copper clay instead of Cajun Craze ink this time. I'm using the copper clay ink so that it matches the copper clay card base and the DSP. And I will flip these over because I'm going to adhere these with a couple of Stampin' Dimensionals. This one I'm going to adhere just like that. Lovely, love it. And then this one I'm going to adhere right here. And of course you could put it anywhere. I even thought of doing something like this, but I felt there was a little too much blank space that way. So I changed it up and decided I would do it this way, which I really like. And then finally, let's add some bling. I'm going to use once again, the adhesive-backed solid gems that I used on our slimline cards. However, I'm going to be using the Cajun or the uh, copper clay color instead. So on this first card on the left, I'm going to add three, one of each size, just to make it fun that. So that's that finished card. And then on here, I'm going to get really crazy. And I'm going to add one small embellishment to each one of the eight banners, which I think looks kind of cool. I don't usually use that many embellishments on one card, but I feel like this card really calls for it. So there's the two 
a two size cards. So let me show the others. Here's our first four slimline cards plus two A2 size cards for a total of six cards made with one sheet of designer series paper and some scraps from yesterday's uh, one sheet wonder. So this being our fifth video of my six part series on one sheet wonders using the Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper, we have so far used five sheets. And at this point, we have zero waste of those five sheets of DSP, which is making me happy. I love DSP and I love challenging myself to use every single bit of it. If you've m missed any of the previous videos, be sure to check them out on stampinpeace.com. You will see the replay of my video plus You'll get cutting dimensions of the One Sheet Wonder templates and all of the card pieces, as well as a list of Stampin' Up! products used in each of those videos. Be sure to tune in to my next video because it will be the sixth and final video in the series. With that video, I will show you how to cut this piece of designer series pa paper and make seven different cards from it. So it's going to be lots of fun. I look forward to having you back for another creative demonstration. Until then, happy stamping.